Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this Breathe Into Your Flexibility class. During this class, we're going to use some yin style holds to help increase your flexibility and release any tension. You don't necessarily need any props. If you like to use some blocks, a strap, or some pillows, I will let you guys know when to use it. Uh, as always, thank you so much for your support. Let me know what you guys think. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and meet on the mat. Ryan <laughs> All right, so when you guys are ready, we're gonna start in Sukhasana, just a simple cross legged like seated position towards the end of your mat. Can you go ahead and place uh, your hands on your knees, making sure your spine is straight and long. You can also go ahead and close your eyes. We're going to start this practice by taking three deep breaths, counting for five for inhale, holding it for a count of five, and exhaling for a count of five. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and take a big inhale. Hold. Exhale. Again, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Hold. Exhale. This time on your next inhale, you're gonna let the arms rise up and overhead. This time on your exhale, let your right hand come down on the floor. Take a big inhale, lift up, see if you can straighten your back even more. And on your exhale, take a slight bend towards your right. Take a full breath here. Take a big inhale, come back to center. Exhale and switch. Same idea, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come back to center. On your exhale, this time let both hands come down towards your right. Let your left hand come towards your knee. Your right hand is on the floor. We're gonna take a slight twist here. Make sure you're comfortable. We're gonna hold most of these stretches from now on for a little bit longer. Make sure you're breathing. If you feel like you need to add some props, like some blocks under your thighs, do so.
Taking three more breaths here, wherever you are. Your next inhale, come back to center, bring your arms back, straighten overhead. On your next exhale, same thing, taking a twist towards the other side so your right hand comes on your left knee Taking three more breaths here. Your next inhale, come back to center. Arms are up and overhead. On your exhale, you can leave the eyes open. And then come into a seated bound angle pose. So go ahead and bring the Bottom of the feet together. Again, maybe you want to place some blocks underneath your thighs. We're going to hold this pose for uh, a little bit, so you want to be as comfortable as you can. Then take a big inhale, start and walk your hands as far as you can. Exhaling and melting your heart towards the mat and your forehead, if you can. Making sure you're breathing, that your back is straight and long. Maybe you want to lay your chest on some pillows or a bolster. On your next inhale, I'm going to go ahead and lift up onto the tip of the fingers. Start walking your hands towards your right side. Taking a little twist. Again, letting your chest melt towards the floor. Placing the palms down on the floor, maybe melting the chest. 
down. On your next inhale, I'm going to lift up onto the tip of the fingers, come back to center. Take a full breath here. On your next inhale, start and walk your hands towards the other side. Make sure you're breathing. See if you can melt the chest, the palm of the hands down. Next inhale, lift up to the top of the fingers, come back to center, and let yourself melt again. For a couple more breaths here. See if that helped. Maybe open up a little bit more if you can go a little bit deeper. Making sure you're taking deep inhalations and exhalations. Inhale, think, lengthen, and exhale, melt. Next inhale, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Gonna take your left leg and just straighten it out in front of you. Flexing your left foot. Take your right foot and just kind of cross it over your left leg. We're going to take a little twist. So left shoulder just kind of crosses over your right knee. The right hand is down on the floor, kind of helping you twist. Try and look over your right shoulder. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, come back to center. You're going to take your right foot and I'm going to give you two options here. So you have the option of just putting your the bottom of your right foot kind of uh, glued to your left thigh and you're gonna take a forward fold from here so like a half forward fold from here or this that could be a little bit more challenging for some taking your right foot scooping it over your right uh your left thigh i'm gonna take a big inhale straighten your back Exhale, try and let yourself melt forward. Maybe you're using a strap here. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. Making sure that your spine is straight and long. Bottom foot can be flexed here. 
and after Five more breaths here. Your next inhale, fully you start to walk your hands back. Gonna grab your right foot again and bring it kind of glued to your right butt cheek. We're gonna go ahead and take one of those half forward fold here. I'm gonna place myself this way so you can see a little bit better. So try and open your legs a little bit wide, as wide as you can here. Option to maybe have some pillows and put them under your chest. Gonna slowly take a big inhale, start to walk your hands forward, making sure you're keeping a straight back, letting your chest melt towards the floor. Making sure you're breathing, you're focusing on that pelvic tilt to enable you to lower down that little tilt here. This stretch is amazing to help with your pancake fold. Three more breaths here. And your next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back. Bring your legs straight out in front of you. Maybe give them a little shake. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So starting with our twist, so taking your left foot this time, placing it over your right leg. 
Picking your right elbow, scooping it to the side. Let me take a twist towards our left. Here, looking up and over our left shoulder. Take three more breaths here. And your next inhale, bring you back to center. Same idea here. So maybe you want to bring your foot on your thigh. Maybe you just want to glue the bottom to the side of your thigh, whatever option that is most comfortable for you since we're going to hold it for a little bit. Take a big inhale, exhale, melt it onto your leg. Making sure your back is straight. We're going to take three more breaths here. Your next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back. Same way as before, we're going to grab your left foot, bring it to your left butt cheek and I take like this kind of half pancake fold. So wherever you are, if you want to use a bolster or some pillows, take a big inhale, slowly exhale and start to walk your hands forward, really focusing on this little pelvic tilt. Maybe melting your chest down on the floor.
One more breath here. Next inhale, so you start to walk your hands back. Again, bring your legs straight out in front of you. Maybe you want to give them a little shake. We're going to go ahead and attempt a full forward fold. So go ahead and sit. Legs are straight out in front of you. Feet are flexed. Back is straight and long. Again, maybe you want to use a strap with a fist. Pull yourself forward. This is totally optional. Maybe you want to put a bolster on your legs. We're going to hold this pose again for a few breaths. Take a big inhale. Arms raise up overhead. Exhale. Reach out in front of you. And let it melt onto your legs. Making sure that back is straight and long. Maybe you're melting your chest, belly, the thighs. Wherever you are, just making sure that you're breathing. Three more breaths to you. Next inhale, so we start to walk your hands back by your side. This time, again, we're gonna attempt our full pancake fold. So I'm just gonna come towards this side so you guys can see a little bit better so you can bring your legs as wide as you can pointing your feet if you want again maybe have some pillows or a bolster to ease you into it take a big inhale exhale slowly start to walk your hands forward maybe melting your chest down on the floor.
more breaths here. Next inhale, bend the hands back down the mat. Bring your legs back together. You can give them a little shake from side to side. Kind of come on your mat. You can come into kind of like a tabletop position. We're gonna come in a frog pose here. So personally, I always love to leave kind of one of my uh, leg on my mat and one on the floor and just gonna ease it. Um, it kind of makes it easier to slide down. So whatever you prefer here, and you can also bring your chest on a bolster or on some pillows. I'm gonna start by sliding down. So you want your knees to be in line and you want your heels and feet to be a little bit more out towards the side. It's, since we're working on longer holds, wherever you are, you're just gonna go ahead and bring your chest down on the floor. I'm not gonna do the forearms today. if you feel comfortable to and if you're not feeling much of a stretch. Making sure you're breathing. Focusing on that pelvic tilt. Taking two more breaths here, wherever you are. Next inhale, gonna bring the big toes to touch. Place the palms of your hands down, so to try and bring your bum down on the floor. You can bring your legs together. Give it a little shake if you want, from side to side. We're gonna come here into, we're gonna come into a tabletop position. We're gonna take a puppy stretch here. So you want your hips to be over your knees and your hands under your shoulders. Take a big inhale and on your exhale, so then you start to walk your hands Maybe a little bit forward, melt, maybe forehead, maybe chin, maybe chest to floor. Maybe you like to tuck the back toes here, whatever feels most comfortable for you.
three more breaths here, wherever you are. Next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back towards. We're gonna take a pigeon pose. So you can go ahead and plant the hands down on your mat. Bring your right foot, kind of angle it in front of you, your right leg in front of you. Here you have the option of maybe placing a block underneath your thigh here. If this is really an intense stretch for you, I want you to try and bring your hands by your side. So really making sure that your hips are squared here. Your hips are sinking in. I don't want you guys to go out of the stretch here. You're staying grounded. Hips are squared. Take a full breath here. On your next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands forward. And exhale, let your chest, maybe forehand melt down on the floor, keeping your back straight and long. I'm gonna take three more breaths here, wherever you are. In the next inhale, so you start to walk your hands back by your side. Option to stay here. Maybe try and kick your leg, your back leg, and grab it with your left hand. Option to maybe try and simply bring it as close to your bum as you can, or maybe hook it in your elbow here, taking your right hand, clasping it with your left one. Coming into this little mermaid variation 
Making sure your hips are squared, your heart is lifted. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe you want to go ahead and attempt cake pigeon. If you want to, I'm going to go ahead and take your left hand, flipping it so that the inside is facing out. Bend your left leg. Flex your foot so that it's easier for you to kind of grab it like this. Take a big inhale. Rotate your arm inward. Exhale. Take a big inhale, lift your arm up, grabbing with the other end onto your left foot. Take a big inhale here, lift your heart and bend. Ready? Slowly release it. Slowly plant the hands back down on the mat. We're gonna bring your leg back beside the other one. Slowly, we're gonna just take a short child's pose, melting your chest onto your leg. Staying here for one full breath. For your next inhale, put the hands back down on the mat. We're going to do the same thing we just did, just kind of alternating sides. And if you want to hold any poses for longer, you can go ahead and do so right away. Now you kind of have an idea of the options here. So you're gonna go ahead and walk your hands by your side. This helps make sure your hips are square. So you don't want none of this. You're letting your hips sink down. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, let your chest melt down on the mat and the forehead. If it's accessible to you.
two more breaths here. Next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back by your side. So same idea as before. Option number one, maybe just work on bringing your foot as close to your bum as you can. Making sure your hips are square, that you're not doing this, that you're staying in the stretch. Maybe you're going to hook your right foot to your right arm. Cross your hands together, coming into this mermaid variation, making sure your hips are squared, heart is lifted, or maybe, again, you want to attempt your king of pigeon. So let's revisit the flip grip, flipping your hand, glide with your foot, Really making sure that it's your foot is flexed, it really makes it a lot, a lot easier. Take a big inhale, rotate, center yourself, take a full breath here. On your next inhale, reach up with the other arm, grabbing onto your foot. Give a big inhale, heart lifts up, and you slowly bend. When you're ready, you can release hands back by your side. Slowly plant your hands back down. Bring your leg back behind you. Same idea, we're gonna take a child's pose here again, just for one full breath. Letting your chest melt down towards the mat. Now plant your hands down on the mat. Taking your right foot, we're gonna take a lizard pose here. So placing your right foot towards the edge of your mat. Option to maybe place your hands or forearms down on some blocks here. So first option, hands are equal to your heel. Maybe you're here, maybe you can lower forearms down making sure it parallels with your heel. Making sure you're breathing. Next inhale, adding one more option here. So planting your left forearm down on the mat. And then take that twist to so open your right thigh out. Taking your right hand, pushing out. Adding one more option, but again, we're gonna hold it for a few more breaths. So really whatever is more comfortable for you, maybe you can go ahead and keep the foot back. Maybe you do some pulses and hold. Next inhale, slowly lower that back foot down. If it was tucked, place your forearms on the mat. 
slowly come into that child's pose again for one full breath just to ease into the switch nice inhale plant hands down same idea lizard pose on the other side here so go ahead place the side of your foot the side of your mat option number one hands in line with heels heel maybe bring your form down the mat again making sure everything's in line your next inhale option to add a little twist here so planting your right forearm down on the mat twisting your left leg out pressing with your left hand again option kicking that back foot maybe taking just some slight pulses at first to ease into it Two more breaths here. Next inhale, slowly lower the foot back down on the mat. Maybe plant your forearms back down, plant your hands down. Bring your leg, come into that child's pose again. But this time we're gonna stay for a few more breaths. So get comfortable, really melt your chest down. On the mat, bring your forehead, maybe down the mat. We're gonna take a big inhale, come to your tip of the fingers. And on your exhale, you're gonna scoop your left arm underneath your right one. Gonna take in your twist here. Trying and look up over that right shoulder, maybe here. Gonna place your right hand onto your left thigh. Take a big inhale, right arm, reach up overhead, bring your back to center. Scoop the other one. Take a full breath here. Next inhale, lift up. Exhale, switch sides. Same idea here. So maybe you wrap your hand around, or maybe you prefer leaving it on the mat. 
whatever feels most comfortable for you. Two more breaths here. Nice inhale. Lift, arm reaches up, bring it back to center. Take a full breath here. Next inhale, slowly bring your hands back by your side. So you start to make your way to maybe the top of your mat here. We're gonna come into a hero pose. So just go ahead and sit kind of in between your legs like this here. I'm gonna give you a few options. So maybe here is enough of a stretch for you. Maybe you prefer putting already some blocks underneath your bum. We're gonna head into recline hero pose. So option to slowly lower forearms down on the mat. Slowly start to make your way all the way down. Maybe bring your arms up and overhead, whatever feels most comfortable for you. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. So choose the variation that you prefer and that is best for you today. Making sure you're breathing, taking deep inhalations and exhalations, connecting with your breath, getting deeper and deeper with every breath. We're gonna stay here for three more breaths. Your next inhale, slowly plant the forearms back down. Slowly start to make your way back up into a seated ear pose. Find your hands down. You can kind of sit to your side. And now we're going to slowly make our way onto our back. So slowly lower forearms down and your back onto the mat. Keeping your feet planted down 
on the floor. Hands and arms are by your side. Palms are facing down. We're going to head and take a little bridge here. So when you're ready, take a big inhale. You're going to press onto your feet. Lift your hips up. Maybe have the option and clasp both hands and try to kind of lift yourself even higher here. Try and lift your booty and hips as high as you can. Just holding it for three, two, one. Slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Take a full breath here. I'm going to take this sequence again, but I'm going to show you a different option. If you want to keep to the first one, you can go ahead and do so. Take a big inhale. Let your hips lift off the mat. Really pressing down with your feet. Maybe clasp your hands down and under you. Option. Take a big inhale and maybe lift your right leg up. And straight on top of you. One more breath, slowly lower your right leg down, pressing your hips, maybe a little higher, and switch. Straightening your left leg this time. Straightening your left leg this time. Slowly lowering the foot back down. Lift your hips a little higher. Slowly exhale and lower down. One vertebra at a time. Take a few breaths here. We're gonna head and take our little wheel pose now. So this is optional. If you want to attempt wheel pose now, you can go ahead. If you want to keep doing these little bridges, variations that we were just doing now, you can go ahead and keep doing that. So when you're ready, take a big inhale. Arms are going to come up, palms facing down by your side, at the side of your head. Take a big inhale, same way as before. Hips lift off. Exhale. Again, inhale, now press into your hands and feet to lift off. Try and straighten your arm. Now, we're going to take a few rocks back and forth. So inhale, go back. Exhale, maybe straighten in. Inhale back. And maybe you straighten your leg. And your next inhale. Slowly lower down. So maybe top of the head. And back. Bring both thighs to your chest. Maybe you can want to take a few rocks from side to side. Maybe you need to readjust 
adjust yourself like I do. Maybe not. I'm gonna straighten out your legs in front of you. Arms are by your side. Take a big inhale, lift your right leg up and your left one. Bend both legs. Kind of eagle out the legs here. Take a big inhale, you're gonna raise your right arm, place it by your side. Bring your left hand to your right knee and you're gonna take a side twist. Just modify it with some eagle legs. Looking out towards your right side. Trying to keep both shoulder blades on the mat. Your next inhale, bring your legs back to center, straight up in front of you, just switch sides, bend both legs, same thing, but with the other side, let's take a little twist. Trying to keep both shoulder blades on the mat. Really pressing down with both hands. And next inhale, bring your legs back to center. Bring your thighs to your chest. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Bring your legs down on the mat. Arms by your side. As always, we're gonna finish this practice by taking a few breaths. As always, we're gonna end this practice by taking a few breaths in Savasana. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. If you have anything that you specifically want me to do, let me know down below. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.